be a teach secondary school teacher and I was teaching 16 year old boys German three times a week which as you can imagine was no mean feat so I kind of realized I can either teach or I can control them but I can't do both so I thought I'll do a counseling course to give me some skills to manage and then I realized that actually I wasn't really meeting their needs at all uh, and so decided to be to retrain as a psychotherapist uh, I, I work with children and adults as well and in addition I also train here and offer CPD courses, continuing professional development courses for other therapists and I also supervise other therapists and counsellors who work with children and young people. You know, Bob who runs it, so he um, has a, a legitimacy having been here for 20 years, so there's something about that um, security and safety of knowing that you know hundreds of thousands of people have have used MIP and you know the therapists here are all trained and have supervision and are working towards accreditation if they're not accredited so uh, it's a very bounded safe environment. I think there's two uh, things that bring people into therapy often it's either a crisis or a general feeling of stuckness where they don't know what's the matter and they just feel not okay and want somebody to explore it with. Always I'm looking at what somebody is saying but I'm also looking at what might have been missing in their history where some of their needs haven't been met. I would say if somebody is at that point where things are not working for them or they feel stuck then in some respects what have they got to lose uh, which is often what I say to young people because young people are often more terrified than adults. You know, when I ask them at the end of the session, they always say, oh, phew, that was much better than I expected or, you know, like, um, you know nothing untoward happened. They can then make a, a, a more informed choice about whether it's a safe base for them to come back to.